Okay, here we are with the, another weekend update. And I've got the lock fire blued. And uh, it's reassembled. Um, everything is in working order. Triggers work. So, happy with that. As for um, these Unertle style uh, mounts, I could not find rings um, of this type in three quarter that I could afford. Um, I don't know why that's not getting in focus, but anyway, you can see the difference between this and this. You see how much wider this one is at the bottom? Now this is for 3 8 11 millimeter grooved receivers and that's all it will fit. This will take these Unertle or Lyman mounts and will and also will clamp to a 3 8 grooved receiver. And that's what I wanted because it would look better, especially if I used this mount. However, um, the, the rings like like that in, in three uh, three quarter inch tube scopes there a pair of them was like 90 bucks and I, and I just can't spend that it's just too much money so I called up uh, brown ales um, and it just so happened that they have um, a grooved rail 3 8 11 millimeter grooved rail for a buck and a half and so I just ordered that and it's not going to be it's made of aluminum and it's anodized black and it's not going to be as pretty but it'll work um, and it'll work um, with the with this style ring it, which is this is a good ring it's just not exactly what I was wanting to use um, I'll put this screw on the left hand side and scooch this over as far to the left on top of this uh, octagon flat as I can and uh, we'll, we'll start the block right here um, the block is four inches long and uh, uh, that should work just fine it just won't be as pretty now if you if you've never seen Lyman rings. I, I happen to have some Lyman rings. Uh, these are the old style uh, Lyman rings. This is the this is the front ring. Um, if you look, let me see if I can turn this around here. And you see that that dovetail slot right there. Well, that dovetail slot is designed to take this piece here. And generally, you only need two screws to hold it down. They give you a third for some reason. I guess, I guess on the front of the scope, you might want to put all three. Maybe if you have a high, extremely high recoiling rifle, but these black powder rifles hardly ever kick that bad. Um, this this brass tube telescope I've had for many years. It's a four power, three quarter inch tube. Um, it mounts. It's got the same mount on the bottom of it. Uh, what you've seen right here is the spring uh, loaded plunger. Uh, this is for elevation and that's for windage. And I'm guessing this was made back in the 30s. And it works really good. Um, I've got a slug gun barrel. It's inch and a quarter octagon. Um, and the barrel alone weighs 14 pounds. It's, it's strictly a bench rifle set up and that's what I'm going to put this on someday. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for this weekend. Um, hope you all enjoyed it and uh, have a great weekend.